Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey man, thanks for joining us on what may be, what may be a future collectible. So imagine it's 1960s, you got a Chevrolet dealership, you guys are rolling because there's no Lexus, no Honda, no Toyota, you're the king, and you, now you want to build some race cars. Berger Chevrolet decides that's what they want to do. Those cars became collectible cars now, and now they're worth a lot of money. The new Camaro comes out, right? Fast forward there. New Camaro comes out, sure enough, they decide to build it too. This one here, awesome, awesome car. I'm telling you, ridiculously well built. But not only is it ridiculously well built, it's well documented, it's low mileage, and it is a dream. It is so different than a regular Camaro, because a regular Camaro is a very nice car. This is loaded up too. This has the SS package, the RS package, and we have with us today all the original stickers here. So here's the original window sticker of the car in 2011, right? 37,745. Then you add on here, so they put this package together, 37,740. And then the Berger package, the SS, 21,730 additional dollars. And on top of that, this customer here who bought this car new, spent an additional $10,000 on the car, upgrading even more. The heads were redone, the camshaft is upgraded, the stereo system is killer. It is just a wonderful car to drive. I've driven this car home and back, it drives beautifully. You would never know that it has a dyno sheet at around 600 horsepower at the rear wheels. I didn't make that up, it comes with the documentation, we got a folder right there, this thick, you get all that stuff. Plus you get air conditioning, power windows, big giant Brembo brakes all the way around, right? Heavy duty positive traction, independent rear suspension, four wheel, dis uh, four wheel independent suspension as well. So, I don't know. Let's take a walk around, let's check it out. I wanna start here, cause this, I love these wheels. 20 inch forged lines, right? With these big, big red calipers sticking out of there. Brembo all labeled up. And there's some really nice stuff. For instance, like this is signed by the guys at Berger Chevrolet who built this car, right? and it's numbered, and it's got some information under the hood too. It's got all those two sets of keys, owner's manual. It's like that kind of car, right? Pirelli P0s all the way around. This is not cheap tires, and this is not cheap wheels, and this is not a cheap upgrade. That's why I really feel like this car could be someday the big next 200, 300, $400,000 car, because who knows by you know a few years from now, 20 years from now, there'll be driverless cars and electric, and nobody will have this except you and one of 25 only people, and who knows how many will be left with really low mileage like this as well. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood. Well, actually, let's take a walk around for a minute. I love these stripes here. I think they're great looking. Uh, these are also painted on, where the factory would have done the decal, all right? Big difference. Different hood as well, all right? Factory sunroof. Look how nice this car, this car's lowered as well. Look how nice it fits inside the arches there, the big brakes shining through, all right? And uh, the calipers came black. We painted them to match the stripes on the car and put the Brembo on there because it looks so nice, all right? We can easily paint them back to black if that's what you want. But back here, their blackout tail panel here, just like the big block cars of the, of the 60s. SS Callout, that's their own emblem. Spoiler is their own spoiler. They feel like this ducktail style spoiler, wind tunnel tested, has a Berger uh, Callout right there. Great free flow exhaust, backup sensors, RS package, so it has the reverse lights down here. Just cool little stuff, man. And all this stuff here, it just turns me on to, to, to do it. All right, let's check out under the hood. All right, so we got cold ram air here. We got that deep chin spoiler right there. All right, just some nice styling touches, but they're functional as well, right? Okay, come check this out. This is so nicely packaged and done, right? Check out this cold air box, right? Nice piece there. Berger pieces here. Supercharger, all right? You can't see all of the expensive items that are inside the engine. This has had a lot, a lot of great pieces done to it. and what's inside of there is written on a sheet. You'll get to see all that, but you don't care about any of that. When you fire this thing up and you're in a modern car and it sounds like it's got a big camshaft and it's lumpy and it shakes a little bit when it's cold, it'll turn you on, man. You'll be like, damn, I had no idea. Most people don't know about these cars and that's what makes it so rare. The fact that we have one, I think is really cool. So uh, again, and you're not giving up any of the luxury stuff, man. This car's got leather, it's got power seats, it's got heated seats, right? Killer sound system, you're missing out on nothing and you're getting everything. All right, so the trunk, although it's beautifully done, especially the way it's insulated, covered, and all done and finished, the problem is 
if you're going to add a lot of great stuff to the car, you're going to have to make some trades and stuff. So here's what it is. This right here, the Rockford Fosgate subwoofer, all right? Over here is an Alpine amp, crossovers, faders, all right? This right here is for methanol if you want to run a full boost. Uh, so uh, we, you can buy a five-gallon canvas, not very much money. You just put it in, and it only uses it at wide open throttle, so it lasts a really long time. Um, and it's just injected into the engine, uh, just like the gasoline is. It's not like nitrous because it's not... Uh, it's not really like that. it doesn't make any power really it just keeps the engine nice and cool and allows it to make the most power because it's keeping everything cool and and doing those kinds of things okay so uh that right there and all of the other stuff you can clearly see how we're starting to spend a lot of money on a great car but you don't have to because somebody already did all right so you're going to spend some time in here and you're going to get some things that uh let some people know for instance custom floor mats right there upgraded Boston uh, audio system with the upgraded Alpine stuff and the sub and things like that uh, and as well as all of the other luxury features you would get this uh, is an upgraded shifter it's the Hurst shifter all right so it's not the factory one and it's much tighter than uh, than you can imagine uh, the other shifter was this is really really nice so it also has a couple of hidden things well the open things are 190 mile an hour speedometer 9,000 RPM tack, power windows, power seats, heated seats, air conditioning, uh, full console gauge package here, right? It's got all that stuff. It's got one kind of cool feature. It's got electric cutouts for the exhaust. So it sounds great out the, out the back there. It has full stainless exhaust, but also dumps out the sides after the cats. So it's not super loud, but it makes a whole different sound. And I'll start up for you uh, when you hear that. It sounds great. So let me start it up so you can hear what it sounds like stock. And then you can go ahead and hear what it sounds like once I open up the uh, ghost. Here's without the exhaust open. Here's with the exhaust open. All right, so as we close up this video, listen, the Copo Camaro, no one ever knew that that was going to be collectible. Nobody knew that uh, uh, these people who had built these cars at the Chevrolet dealerships and, and put their names on the back of them were going to be collectible cars. But these guys wanted to go fast. They're still here today, and you could be part of that before the world gets crazy and these become million dollar cars. So anyway, I just thought it was an awesome, awesome piece. Tons of documentation. And on top of it, it was a great car to start with. It's an even better car. It's a 100% better car now. Uh, and before it was a, a spectacular driving thing. So anyway, I get so excited about this because I really see the future and this really could be it. Call us 301-816-1000. 301-816-1000. We will tell you anything you want to know about this car, but more importantly, who cares? Get in your driveway, get in your garage, get in and go to work and have a great time.